Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Steve here. And in this video, I want to ask you a question. And the question is, are you already happy? Are you happy now? And I pose this question to you because I want you to think about it for a second, first of all. And second of all, I'm going to share a story with you. So bear with me. And I want you to kind of put yourself in my place and think about this for a second. Okay. I just went to um, the Empower Network Revolution event in Las Vegas this past weekend. And a couple of the speakers, Toby and Layla Black, posed a very interesting exercise for us. And you know, what, what we had to do was we had to close our eyes and we had to you know, kind of get into this very relaxed space and we had to start thinking about um, like kind of like a happy place almost, right? You know, focus on a happy place and like, where are you? And what was really interesting to me was I wasn't thinking about the future. I wasn't thinking about driving like a fancy car or you know, traveling to some exotic place or you know, rolling around in a bed of $100 bills. But I was laying in bed with my wife and my kids and we were just kind of like laying there hugging as a group and kind of being silly and laughing. And then, you know, later that morning we went out to breakfast uh, and then we saw a movie that afternoon and we came home and we had dinner. And, you know, it was kind of like a family day and it was like fun and nice and like filled with warmth and love. And when I opened my eyes, when the exercise was over, it kind of dawned on me and I said, well, shit, I can do that now. I have that now. I have the ability to do all of that right now. And it just kind of got me thinking. It's like, huh, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting more, with striving for more. But think about this for a second. Another thing that I learned this past weekend was that if you have a roof over your head, if you have running water, if you have electricity, if you have internet access, a computer, you know, a cell phone, like high speed this and uh, awesome that and a car and all this stuff and the ability to put food on the table you're like in the richest five percent of the world did you know that i just found that out this weekend and i thought it was incredible and there's so much you know poverty and starvation in this world that you know we forget about it because we live in this we, we live in our own little bubble we live in our own little world and it just kind of dawned on me it's like wow like am i happy already because oftentimes we don't appreciate what we have because we're always striving for something else. Yet there are so many people out there that would be thrilled, that would kill for the life that we have. So, you know, I invite you to do that exercise. You know, try to, try to go to a quiet, calm place and close your eyes and try to take some deep breaths and relax. And ask yourself, you know, what's your happy place? And see if it's now. You know, see if you already have it because... I was blown away at the fact that when I opened my eyes from this exercise, I was like, wow, I'm, I already have that. Like my happy place is, is today. It's now I'm fortunate enough. I live in a, I live in a nice house. I have my own business. I work part time from home making money and I can kind of go where I want and do what I want when I want. And it's like, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So I ask you the same question, say, maybe, are you already happy? Are you happy now? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's also nothing wrong with wanting more. There's nothing wrong with wanting more. And it's not about greed. A lot of people will tell you, oh, you know, you want more money, you're greedy. And that's, that's the farthest thing from the truth. If you're broke or if you're rich, which way can you do more good? Which way can you donate to your schools and to your churches and to your other religious organizations and to charities and to do volunteer work and all these other things? Can you do all those wonderful things when you're broke? Or can you do all those awesome things when you have a lot of money to give and to share? There's nothing wrong with going out and getting a lot of money because it allows you to do so much more good. Money is just a tool. Remember that. So if you're a good, kind, generous person, money is just going to allow you to do more of that. Be more of that. So don't ever let anyone hear, let, let you say, don't ever, don't ever let anyone say to you that you shouldn't have more, you shouldn't get more money. Oh, you know, the rich are so greedy. The rich are some of the most kind, gentle people, generous people I've ever met. And I have a pleasure to hang around. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So I just wanted to share this video to kind of invite you to answer that question for yourself. Are you already happy? And again, there's nothing wrong with wanting more, but it's important to appreciate what you have right now. Because so many people would love to have what you have. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And look, if you're looking to do something more, if you're looking to make more money so you can be more charitable, more generous, to give more of yourself, of your time and your money, 
There's a link below this video where I share what I'm doing, what allows me to make more money so I can do those things also. And I invite you to check it out for yourself because maybe it's exactly what you've been looking for. It's a simple, smart system that I've been using to allow me to do what I do. And you should check it out for yourself. There's a link below this video that will allow you to do that. Otherwise, guys, this is Dr. Steve signing off. Hope you have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend. Ask yourself that question, and I'd be curious to hear your answer. Leave a comment below either this video or on my blog post if you're seeing it there about what you got out of that exercise and what your answer was to my question. So that's it, guys. Dr. Steve signing off. Have an awesome weekend. I'll see you next time.